hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well thank you for stopping by to watch my video right now i'm gonna be making potato and plantain porridge for dinner don't mind my makeup i just finished filming a makeup video and it's not every day you get to see me like this because when you're a mommy you don't get time for all this all the time fresh fish and a sauce so let's get cooking so Obi got me this fish and it's way back home two days ago so i had to like put it in the sink and wash it in the proper way before i put them in the freezer because that's the way i normally do i'm gonna wash them with a lot of salt and rub it all over the fish this is salmon fish so i'm gonna wash it all over with some salt and water before I put them in a Ziploc in the freezer. So whenever I want to use them, I don't have to do all of this process anymore. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Just rinsing out, rubbing them with the salt and rinsing them all out. So yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and season them. I like to use this Goya fish seasoning. It's so good, guys. Uh, that's all I use for my fish. So I'm going to sprinkle that all over the fish and flip them over and season the other side as well. And then I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag. I ran out of a big Ziploc bag, so I had to use this um, sandwich bag. So, yeah, it's all finished. I'm going to put it in the freezer two days later. So now we are making dinner. I'm going to take them out. And with my stock, I'm going to defrost it for dinner. This is earlier that day. So let's get dinner started. I'm going to be making, like I said, some plantain porridge. Very quick one. I just diced the unripe and mixed with ripe plantain together into cube or little sizes and this is yellow pepper and onion with ginger for my fish that's what i'm going to be using for the fish with some spinach of course so yeah and that's my stock for the plantain and some salt so i'm going to go ahead and blend my yellow and onion pepper my onion and yellow pepper for the fish so that's all i'm going to be using for the fish with some a little bit ginger I already blended my ginger in the fridge so yeah i'm gonna put the fish in the pan then pour the sauce the pepper i mean the yellow pepper and the onion with some ginger i'm gonna pour it on it guys try cooking your fish with some ginger you're gonna love it i'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of vegetable oil on it then cover it to cook on a low heat then i'm gonna move on to, to my planting so that's all you need guys it's just gonna be there cook on a low heat so i'm gonna start with my planting and put all my ingredients the sliced tomato pepper onion and crayfish some palm oil some seasoning and with my liquid stock with some water then you cover to boil that's all you need guys so simple and straightforward so yeah So guys, I later decided I was going to make this carrot cake because I've been postponing and postponing 
so i don't want them to get spoiled so i had to use it on that same day like when i had the time so and it was not gonna take a lot of my time so i shredded the carrots and i'm gonna be mixing a little bit of zucchini in there so i'm gonna blend that together and so i'm gonna set that aside and then mix all my dry ingredients and um yeah that's my flour i'm gonna be mixing with baking powder baking soda and some salt in the flour and stir that together before i go in with blending with whisking my eggs so in the egg i'm gonna be putting some sugar i have a cup of sugar and three quarter of vegetable oil it's gonna go all in the eggs and when that is done i'm gonna mix it with my raisins and some nuts those are all the things that i have here combined all together it's gonna go in the oven 350 degrees and bake for 45 minutes then our dessert slash snack is ready to be consumed anytime yeah so that's what i'm doing here I'm just folding in the carrots in the butter so then I'm gonna put it in the baking pan the baking pan I already spray with the cooking spray before putting it in the baking pan and I'm gonna put that in the oven to bake and that's it we are done I'm wait for 45 minutes then it's done guys Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate you guys. This came out very tasty and yummy. And it was colorful. Look at that guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.